Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing at the Madden cheese as always. Got another gameplay for you guys today. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a new defense that I basically kind of came up with on the fly. Uh, if you guys know, the defense that I typically use, I use Cover 2 Man a lot out of the Big Nickel Over G. And I think the one that I came up with today might be the best defense of the game. Might be even better. You're going to see, I'm going to compare the two in this gameplay. You're going to see the stats from the first defense, and then you're going to see the stats from the second defense. And I think it's going to blow your mind. Now, before I get into all that, I also wanted to say, um, if you guys can do me a favor hook me up with a like as always like shares comments all that stuff really helps out my videos and helps out my channel so if you want to show support you can show support that way other than that if you like what you see you make sure to stick around by hitting the subscribe button i appreciate that as well notification bell all that stuff love you guys for it and if you guys want to get your team up like mine uh you can always check out my coin spots or mmoxp.com link in the description below use discount code money shot for five percent off your order so i'm on offense the first drive here i'm using the green bay packers offense which is pretty much the only offense that i use right now and i'm using the Kansas State Chiefs defense as well. All my ebooks, links in the description below. I literally just made a video the other day that was titled, I score on the first play of every game using this particular play. The PA seems... If you didn't catch that video, I'll put a link in the description below uh, for that play. And pretty much every play that I point out in this game, I've made videos for. Now, I have to make a little bit of a read. I mean, he looks like he's in a man blitz based off the fact that that safety is lined up right over my uh, slot receivers. Pretty easy read. Uh, pretty much every route here can score, but I'm going to, you know, that's going to be my read is the man coverage beater. I just have to make sure that if he's sending a man blitz that I block the running back. You can see that I went from a play action, which will get me sacked, to blocking that running back, which is going to get me uh, basically the protection that I need. Need. I motion out this receiver just to give myself a little bit of a check down. I take pretty much all my time. And sure enough, he comes in on a user blitz, which the running back picks up easily. And that man beater route is just going to cook that safety. <laughs> It's going to cook most defenses. It's not really a hard read to make. I got to rub this in too, by the way. I don't know why. I don't typically do this, but since he gave up on the play, I just wanted to just rub that in and salt that in good uh, as we score a one-play touchdown on the first play. Uh, on the kick meter, though, Oops. I mean, I, I just totally boot this. Serves me right for probably showing off. Maybe I wasn't paying attention as much after that touchdown. That's kind of how it goes. I was probably still celebrating, uh, and I missed that play. So on the defensive side, like I said, the defense that I've been pretty much using the entire year is the cover two man out of the big nickel over G. I make my adjustments. I put my, my, my linebackers at defensive ends. I put my uh, safeties at linebackers. And it's a really good defense. The only real adjustments I make on field is I put one of these defensive ends in a three wreck and then I use her the other defensive end which like I said they're linebackers. This defense has gotten me pretty much through the entire year in a pretty much a shut down fashion. On the first play though my opponent is going to bomb it up right through the middle with DK Metcalf. I could not believe that that just happened. Uh, he must have been celebrating too because he misses the extra point also. So now we got a tie ball game 6-6 and this is not going to be like your normal game because I could tell we're, we got two pretty good opponents if we're able to do that against two good defenses right off the bat. So on the offensive side now I'm going to slow it down a little bit. I can't use that same play over and over. I'm going to hit him with a little bit of a run scheme uh, that I also put out. Link in the description below if you're going to check that out. This is basically my 0-1 trap scheme. The first play, I mean this block looks like it's setting up beautifully and then somehow this defensive lineman just turns into Superman. From getting blocked in the back out of a play to making the tackle that's some good old-fashioned Madden BS, but it's not even the worst Madden BS you're going to see. I promise you there's one way worse down the line. So next play, I hit him with that again. Nope. Completely gets swallowed up, which typically doesn't happen either. Uh, and I got to go, I mean, I see he's in the man cover too, so I got to switch over to a man beater. The gun bunch is one of the best man beating formations in the game. I go with the deep corner. The purpose of the deep corner is to hit this route right over the middle here. If you call this play against cover two man, it's because of that B route. I don't know what possessed me to throw it to the RB route. No. Nope. completely opposite read based off of what the play was designed to do but that's exactly what i did watching it in replay i couldn't figure out why i did that so ultimately i got to punt the punt the ball away i got to play it smart uh, i also like to run a lot of cover four palms and cover six trap to mix in uh some of these variations just so my opponent can't just diagnose you know man coverage over and over and over again and eventually beat it but it's all part of a scheme that i run you can see if you know i can stop the run pretty good with this formation uh it's not the the best run stop information in the world but it's good enough so in third and five 
drive, hit him with that man coverage one more time, gotcha, and we bitch. get an interception. So this defense so far has been hit or miss. We gave up a one play touchdown, and we also got an interception. Now we got the ball at the 45, give or take. But like I said, I promise you, the next defense I show you is going to be absolutely lights out. So next play, still coming in with a lot of user man blitzes. So I got to get this ball out fast. Sure enough, though, this is a really easy read. I've got man blitz beaters. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> That particular play definitely was. I'm going to try to run the ball a little bit, though. If you're going to man blitz me like that, this play is going to kill it. The stretch alert bubble, this is the, another play from the formation I was talking about when it came to the 0-1 trap. The 0-1 trap's not going to work out very good. But this play right here is going to do a terrific job. If you don't have safety help behind this, uh, this is going to kill that. So definitely one of my favorite run plays, one of my favorite run schemes. Check it out. Link in the description below. Other than that, like I said, back on the defensive side, uh, I'm up a touchdown. I'm using, I mean, like I said, I'm pretty much in the same defense. I can stop the run with this defense well enough uh it's just you know he, he's not having a ton of success without a doubt i mean he's getting first downs this play here that probably was a little bit yep. of negative pursuit on my end uh the next play though i go with the cover six invert this is probably one of the ones i use the least i don't know what made me use it here but it completely either he had a play design for it or it just completely glitched out look at both of these receivers are gone the, the cornerbacks behind the one receiver on the right and the one up the middle is completely uncovered as he basically just bombs the easiest one play touchdown ever i don't know whether to give him credit for that or not but you can see this defensive scheme i got to put it into two different realms here it wasn't the cover two man but it was part of the defensive scheme that gave up that huge touchdown so on the next defensive series he's running a lot of cover three hard flats i'm going to go back to my uh my cover three beater my middle high low and we probably in my opinion we probably should have touchdown here but like i said he's got a superior team so i can't really tell if i'm getting mad bs or not or if he's just he's making these plays happen based off of that i mean i still like i said still a lot of mad bs to come let me know in the comment section what you think this particular play in my opinion is a little bit of bs as well this play is a cover two man beater it all really depends on how this receiver uh basically beats the jam which he does not he's being covered by a linebacker and he sticks to him like glue so that that reads just going i take the sack and then on the next play he's going to use a rush from the outside and he's just going to get right around that and just swallow me up so back to back sacks luckily i'm still in position to take a field goal got to hit the kick mirror a little bit better but we're driving that home and we're you know we're still we're up we're up three so it is what it is then on the next defensive series like i said i'm still sticking heavy with this with this man coverage even though i've given up 13 points that's not a lot stuffing the run pretty good right there that's like i said that's pretty much all user it wasn't necessarily uh the alignment or anything like that but this receiver here i mean i didn't get a chance to set up my defense he just had a huge amount of outside separation he's basically using my play against me at this point although i don't know if that was the drive out i think he's in the packers playbook just like i am as i notice a lot of the plays he's using as the game goes on next play i mean i'm getting a stop here he's not really getting a ton I mean, he's dinking and dunking me a little bit, but I don't feel like I'm really giving up anything too crazy. Gotcha, bitch. And then on the next play, we try to hit him with a blitz, and he throws it up, and we get another pick. Aeneas Williams with his second pick of the game. I just got rid of Aeneas Williams based off of my comment section. You guys told me to get rid of him, and now I'm watching him make play after play. So he's going to keep hitting me with this man blitz. You can see it's common, same formation and everything. So I'm going to hit him with a bunch of man beaters. I'm not going to have any problem right here. I mean, I'm trying to hit him with this out route and gone. Next play, same setup. I'm going to hit him with a zig route. We're just hitting with a bunch of... Uh, easy check downs blocking the running back picking him up i mean this defense that he's doing is really not having any success at this point next play though i don't have the running back blocking and what i don't know what kind of animation that was oh, come on! i don't know if that was a fumble or a glitch or if he just ran in and took josh allen's lunch money i have no idea what just happened uh, i've never seen that before in all my games though where there wasn't even a fumble animation and he got and the defensive player got the ball so whatever he's got the ball now and he's moving it against my cover two man he's figured out a play but there's definitely a hole in what i'm doing so i'm trying to swap out my safeties trying to make sure that taylor mays maybe he's the one getting burnt so i'm putting my best man safeties at these safety spot or at these linebacker spots trying to put derwin james and uh tyron matthew have the highest man coverage is there hopefully that'll stop the bleeding uh, and i'm not giving up on the cover two man yet i've had too much success with this cover two man to just give up on it on the next play he's still having success with it though as he goes right over the middle luckily i think derwin james is just a little bit better at man coverage and he just does a little bit of a better job and he does not score that touchdown but you can see he's finding holes he's doing a very good job of beating up my cover two man which a lot of people can't do i'll be honest with you a lot of people struggle with cover two man the next play he finds another hole beats me to the outside the same 
safety was just a little bit behind in coverage. Then he switches it up with a run play and he takes it in from 13 yards out. So now I'm having trouble stopping the run and the pass. I'm basically reeling now. I got to come up with something different. Second half, I still come out in the man coverage. He hits me with that 0-1 trap one more time. This is the 0-1 trap that I was using. He's in the same playbook as me. He's using the same 0-1 trap as me. Gets five yards. I'm to the point now where I'm pretty much like, you know what? I got to switch defenses entirely. So I'm going to leave the big nickel over G and I'm going to go find a new formation. I don't really like, I'm not going to match, you know, 4-3. I like to use that defense, but I don't think it'll work out against a three wide receiver set. I'm looking around thinking, what can I use? And then I settle on the 3-3-5 nickel. Now, this is one of the better defenses. A lot of people are using this. I'm not really one of them. The first defense I'm going to choose, though, is going to be probably my favorite, which is the cover three cloud. Now, this is going to be the defense that, like I was saying, is going to be absolutely lights out. Uh, first play, though, I go back to the cover two man because I'm still in the comfort zone of cover two man, uh, and I'm still going to use that first play we get a pretty decent stop I, I really have a no setup prepared I mean like I said this is not a defense I really use even though it's in this playbook and it has been since day one next play I'm kind of undermanned here as he comes out to three tight end set so I'm still kind of figuring this out but the first two plays he really only gets a couple of decent runs against me uh, before I start to set up my audibles and start to find my way here so on this next play I mean I'm pretty much going to use the cover one contain and the uh, the cover three cloud that I was showing you those are pretty much the main defenses as far as the adjustments go I'm pretty much just pinching my defensive line and spreading the linebackers like this to kind of have an inside contain outside contain pretty much as the look next run play as i do that you can see he doesn't get much might get two yards three yards i'm not too worried about that next play like i said this is more of a pass defense at the end of the day this is pretty much the look stock the only real adjustments i'm going to make is sometimes i'll put this guy on the outside here into a, uh, a hard flat to kind of give a mabel look to the cover three side sometimes i'll put him into a bluff blitz so that he's over the middle in a three wreck because three wrecks are really strong that's pretty much the, the, the main thing here i get lucky that he gets a penalty uh, and he moves him back a couple of yards so second and 11 we also got the cover four quarters i still like the cover four quarters cover four palms that's still a really good def defensive system no matter what particular defense you're in and on the next play he's going to hit me with his first pass play which nothing's really open it's bagged it's clamped to the point where he's going to take off with brett Favre. If he wants to do that he's not going to make a living it's not like he's got lamar jackson back there michael vick back there if he wants to run with brett Favre, he could do that so next play we're back in that cover three cloud sure enough everything's bagged again and he's throwing a pick right to uh, Tyron Matthew, who isn't even, like I said, I have Tyron Matthew because he's more of a man coverage guy as he makes a really good play there in zone coverage. So back on the offensive side, we're going to hit him with that 0-1 trap uh, combo a couple more times. Like I said, that's one of the best run plays in the game. I've been calling it all year. So we get the first down. Next play, I mean, he seems to be really worried about my pass uh, game as he's backing off his corners about like 10 yards. Uh, and then basically, he's just not, he's user rushing a lot, so he's not really getting the pressure, and then I'm just basically picking apart the computer that's why i never really understand people that use a rush i mean it only worked out one time even though it was a big play but for the most part i've handled everything he's thrown at me he's coming out in some seriously heavy packages now i try to run it anyway even though that wasn't the best read i just thought that i could make it happen then when i noticed he was in a cover two invert i know that the cover two invert really is really bad when it comes to this particular bubble screen because the linebackers just don't get out in time and the cornerbacks just completely drop off the face of the earth so really easy play we get an easy touchdown there back to the new base defense uh sure enough we actually make a mistake here we accidentally put a hard flat over in the area where i think it's a cloud flat so it doesn't really matter too much but ultimately i have two defenders doing nothing so i'm actually short handed on this play gotcha, and we bitch. still get an interception aeneas williams with his third interception of the day uh so he's going to return it back inside of my opponent's 50 yard line here and if we rewind it back i can almost see what my opponent thought he was looking at as you can see the cornerback kind of fades away from the outside receiver so maybe he thought he could dot him up but at the end of the day i mean the longer the balls in the air the better it is for me so we get that back next play we're gonna hit him with some ground and pound i mean i'm up four we're late in the fourth quarter i'm not gonna give him too many opportunities i'm still gonna pass it because i haven't run this particular play in a while and i don't want to get overly predictable on this play it looks like he's in a man of some kind i don't know if he's trying to trick me because he's pressing it's really hard to tell but once the play starts it's pretty obvious he's in a cover three and that eight route gets right behind it as i probably could have scored but i just wanted to secure it kill a little clock make sure i get that first down i'm trying to kill clock 
to me that's more important on the next play I hit him with a little bit of a fake motion hoping to open up the middle a little bit sure enough the user middle linebacker does react he shoots inside and then sure enough I have an easy lane to the to the end zone on the left so we're ahead with an 11 point lead now he's not out of the game yet though I go with my classic cover two man setup one more time because it's done so well by me throughout this entire year of Madden 21 I go with it one more trip give it one more chance and sure enough it doesn't work yeah. out as he just beats me right over the middle so I got to go right back to that zone coverage but he's under two minutes so he's going to run a hurry up I don't want to take any chances of switching formations, so I basically just go with the quarters cover four, uh, which can be kind of glitched out kind of easy, but at this point, like I said, he's, he's just beat my man coverage too easily. So I drop back. Luckily, there's nope. a defender in the area, probably forced an incompletion. So that gives me an opportunity to go right back to the 3-3-5. Three, three, sure enough, he's still passing, obviously. I can see what he thinks he saw here because he makes the same mistake. He thinks it's a cover three, but that side's obviously a cover two. He thinks he's going right past the cover three cornerback, but it's just total bait and switch and then he gets an easy interception that's going to be it he's going to leave after that i mean there's only about a minute left and i got ball i tried to click on the stats the game stats really quick just to kind of do a stat tracking uh between my first defense and my second defense just something on camera but he quit out too quickly and it didn't let me do that so i went back through the game uh and i, I put together i watched the gameplay and i did like a little stat tracking the first half, I ran the big nickel over G for the entire first half. If you remember when the second half started, that's when I went and changed my defense to the 3-3-5. Now, the first couple plays of the second half were his most successful plays because I was still kind of trying to figure it out. He ran for a total of 13 yards on three carries. But as far as a comparison of passing yards, he didn't complete one single pass in the second half against the 3-3-5. He actually threw an interception every time he threw the ball. He threw three passes, and he threw three interceptions. He dropped back four times. One time, he scrambled with Brett Favre, if you remember, uh, for a six-yard run. But other than those run plays, he did nothing but throw interceptions. I didn't give up a single passing yard in the second half, or a point, obviously. He scored, he scored all his points in the first half as well. So, like I said, this is the best defense in the game right now in my opinion uh try to add to your arsenal if you're already using the cover two man uh that i use try this one a little bit i think you'll be impressed other than that if you guys want to see more gameplays like this do me a favor hit the like button and let me know in the comment section and other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below